Hey guys, this is Tiffany Graham and today is today's video is for my single moms, you know, my favorite ladies out there. Um, as, as you know, we have a hard job to do and as, of course, um, I always like to inspire all of you out there each and every single day as much as I can. And please excuse my voice, I'm sick. And um, I'm trying to get my throat right. I've been drinking hot toddies every day and, and doing all these things to get right, but I'm going to get it together. So just bear with me over the next five minutes. I promise to make this short and sweet. Um, so I wanted to share the latest journey in my um, single mom journey. And, and this is more so really focused on um, moms who are co-parenting. Because I know, um, and this is, you know, the, the stereotype for a lot of single moms is that the dad is not around. Um, so in this scenario, you, for, in, for moms who are in that situation, this wouldn't necessarily apply to them. This is really more for those who are co-parenting. Um, so recently, my son's father has gotten into a new relationship, one of the many um, that he's had. Um, but differently than, than the other ones, this woman is really actively involved in my child's life. Um, and this has really been really difficult and hard for me to deal with just because um, although I've always um, been a single mom it's just you know I never really pictured the day that would come when there would be another woman in my child's life just never really crossed my mind like that I knew what happened one day but I always kind of brush it off and now that it's really here and it's happening um, it's just a very different feeling um, I know that um, a couple weeks ago he called me up and he asked if his girlfriend can come to my house and pick up my child. <laughs> First of all, that was a no-go for me. I met this woman once. I said hello to her and that was it. Um, so for me that I haven't had a full conversation with her, it's already I don't feel comfortable with her you know, picking up my child. Definitely not coming to my house. Um, but you know, picking up my child and things like that. I'm just not there yet. I'm working on it. Um, I'm trying to get used to it. My son is talking about her more. He's asked me to go to her house. I'm not there. And, you know, I'm willing to admit that it's just taken me a lot longer to deal with this than I originally planned. And so for those of you who have had experience with this before, how did you get adjusted to the process of dealing with another woman in your child's life. For me, um, I'm just trying to be respectful of the whole situation. Um, probably me, two years ago, probably want to just create drama and just start stuff just because I can and just because of the nature of the situation. Um, but the one thing that I can say about myself, though, that I am happy about is that I know that I have grown over the past five years of dealing with my son's father in our situation because like I just said the old me would have just went off on all of this and I probably would have you know been raw the raw 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 baby mama um no but really trying to focus on and myself and I'm um, growing and developing developing more and really being just a mom that my son looks up to because he does not like us to argue he does not like us to fight um he speaks out on it um, he's very vocal about things that he does, you know, likes and doesn't like. And I really want to be that role model for him. And I don't want him to, you know, see me arguing with his father or with another woman or anyone at all. Because that's not what he wants and he, he doesn't like it. Um, so, um, if you are in the same situation, um, I really encourage you to just grow within yourself. You can't change the situation. You can't stop the father of your child from dating other women. You can't stop other women from being around your child. It's just something that you're just going to have to deal with. And you're going to have to learn how to adjust to the situation and really grow from. Um, you know, just one of the biggest things that helped me and I always encourage for everyone is just to really get some good personal development stay inspired stay motivated stay encouraged um, because there's gonna if you're not dating there's gonna come a point where there's gonna be another man in your child's life um, or there may already be there so you have to you know be fair in the situation um, and just think about what's best for the child but also make sure that you sit down and, and speak with this, these women I know I told my son's father that I want to sit down and have a conversation with this girl so I know who she is and, and what she's about and it's also things that you know I 
like and I don't like for my son and I want to make sure that she is fully aware of that like we had a McDonald's incident in which I'll have a video on that too um, on why I do not like, like my child to eat McDonald's at all so come back and check that one out um, but you know the big picture is here that you know learn how to deal with your situation and adjust to it um, because it, don't go around chasing these women away this is the one thing that I see and I mentor some teen moms about them is that like once they have a child by this man there's no other woman that can come to the situation but ladies you have to be big girls here you know that you're not with this man however you got into the situation to be a single mom you knew what you were doing so the fact of the matter is there's gonna be other women there now if there's other women every week okay that's a conversation that you need to sit down and have with the father of your child and like look that has to stop but if this man is serious he you know has a serious girlfriend there's one woman around Give that woman a chance to prove herself. You know, if you feel like there's something harmful that may be happening to your child, okay, that's when you need to step in. But you have to step out on faith that there's everyone out there is not going to harm your child, that there is a nice woman that can come into your son's father's life, and I keep saying my son's father, your child's father's life, and really be a great influence to your child. And don't forget, you know, you are mom. There's, you know, most of the time, and I'll say this to give people the benefit of the doubt, there's not, the woman's not trying to come into the situation and replace you. You'll always be mommy. Just remember that, okay? So come back, ladies, tomorrow for more, um, for more discussion. I'm not sure we're going to be talking about, um, yet. And of course, you know, if you're interested in really expanding your life, um, you may want to start a business. You know, you may have a good job and you've been working, but you want to do something differently. Or you just really want to find a community of people like you who you can talk with, communicate with, share your story, connect with. Then click on the link below. Join my email list and find out how I have the opportunity to start my own business as a single mom and how I can help you to do the same thing. So make sure you click on the link below. Connect with me on social media and come back tomorrow for more fun. This is Tiffany Graham and I'll see you next time. Bye.